Hey everyone, my name is Keish. <laughs> Peace everyone, my name is Essence. And we are Decon Lines Philly, and our workshop is called The Reimagining Series, The Fight for a Land Revolution. I feel like um, when it comes to just life in general, for us to reach our greatness, there's um, this like philosophy in African cosmology that says to reach the top of whatever we're doing, to reach our greatest height, we have to go back in history. But to go back in history, we have to decolonize our minds and we have to study the people that came before us. So I don't think that there's anything we can truly do without other people. And I feel like that's what life is about. Life is about connections and reflection. So it's like we are both the I and the we. So community plays a huge part in our liberation. I feel as though we can't do anything without community. I have read a part of this quote in a book and it said, um, everything worthwhile is done with others. And I immediately thought of uh, Decon Nice Philly, which Keisha is the founder of, because they saw, like, I'm, I'm an educator, and they saw that I like educating people, and they were like, okay, well, that's your strength. Well, you know, I would like to have you a part of this um, thing. And just like all of the people that have helped us, including our professors. Yeah. The future, uh, our work, envisions I would say would be a more like just and like peaceful society. Um, I'm not going to say chaos is going to be eradicated but uh, it would help that we could see past the um, I would say like different labels that we've been taught like you know racial labels and things of that nature um, to the point where we unlearn them and constantly you know like correct ourselves in each other in like a loving manner and at the end of the day lead with like respect and sympathy and if not sympathy then like empathy first like um like i created the Philly really because i read a quote that said of the 57 blocks where 10 or more people were killed 53 were in federally deemed redline neighborhoods and that came out of the city controller office and like i grew up with my mom never having stable housing and i was adopted by my great aunt and um a few years ago i lost like my friend, he was like shot and killed and I heard the gunshots. And then a few months after that, um, the George Floyd situation happened. And then a few months after that, like somebody shot through my window when I was sitting and it went over my head. And so a lot of these issues, like when I think about our communities, like black and brown people and impoverished and marginalized communities around the world, like we're really going through, like we're either being killed for being marginalized or we being, we're being displaced. And like, I feel like not only is our communities dying, like physically, but our earth is dying. And so like the topics that's really being addressed is um, decolonized colonialism, but like really anything that has to do with like being of like a marginalized um, community. So I feel like that kind of reaches like a lot of different things. I would say in a huge role. I've read this book, well, it's two books, by a Nigerian uh, author named Akweke Menzi, and they wrote Pet, and they wrote Bitter. And Bitter, it was about this, uh, the girl's mother, Jam's mother, her name is Bitter, and she was caught in like, it was like a whole bunch of like protests. Um, I would say that definitely, like to me, books are art. So it definitely played a role because in the book, one of, one of Menzi's characters said like, you don't have to be like the head, you don't have to be like the leader. And if you are a leader, like your head can get chopped off. So if everyone like as a collective moves together, then you can like survive better rather than having like your leader shot and killed like many of ours. So I would say art plays a huge role in movement because it gives us, especially books, fictional books for me, it gives me hope that it's like easier to imagine, especially when um, the author and the authors like treat the characters with care and they write the book for their audience, not just like to their audience. Um, I, would, I would definitely agree. Um, Martin Luther King has a quote that says, the media has the ability to influence the consciousness of the masses. And I feel like art has the ability to not only heal us, but also um, help us reimagine and um, learn and unlearn. Um, not to get spiritual, but like Deepak 
Chopra, I think I'm saying his name right. He, there's, um, this, in the, seven, this, the seven spiritual laws of success, the seventh law is the law of Dharma. And I feel like, um, like reenact kind of made me realize that like we do have the ability to change our future, but it has to start with like our thoughts. And I feel like what art does it is it, a lot of um, artists I feel like are doing the reimagining work and we're like taking in that information and seeing like, oh, this can really happen. Um, so I feel like art plays a huge role. And also I feel like for me, um, the first time I got into art was through like fashion. And I feel like um, when it came to me being queer and I feel like art can play like as a, be that like middle person, like the middleman, as people would say, into like people like not having to confront you, but like they have to confront the art.